Oh yeah. Let's let's get some stuff going tonight, man. It's a hurricane time, man. I don't know where where that fat bastard Hobo Tom is, but man, he's he's looking at some bad stuff. Cause <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's it's time to talk about some. Ooh, I like this nice shiny ring of his. I might have to hold on to this. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about some pro wrestling. That's like he like <laughs> he likes to do. See, uh, James Hill, you sir, are getting a sh little shout out here because you won twice. Stephen Ford Whitaker, you actually said something on the friend of verse, man. I don't know about that. You know what? Just for your shout out, you know how to do this.
Patrick W Y W M. You know how to party, sir. You hold your briefcase like the best of them. Pain saw, you can crawl out of here. <laughs> Conferences. You're a dirty, dirty man talking about Sasha Banks like that. I saw some of those leaked videos. You win by a dirty pin. A massive carve. You're a member of the El Generico band, baby. Hit, hit, hit me. Holy shit. I am the table, but Jordan has back. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. Wow. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Dusty Muffler. You're that guy up on that forklift, brother.
and super bad Salu. Man, you're just partaking in Mundo Madness. Man, Clobo, tell him how to be out tonight. So, <laughs> you got some someone broken MF to talk about some pro wrestling today. So, we're here to talk about some Raw, some SmackDown. And wow, what a surprisingly good show it was. I was kind of shocked. That ending kind of brought me out a little bit, man. Yeah. Being that, that that broken, tortured individual who's just spat upon and ridiculed, man. I felt it. So well, let's talk about some shiny. Let's talk about some pro wrestling. We have AJ Styles versus Grand Metal League to start this off. Pretty good traditional start to the match. Um AJ Styles suckers in. Grand Metal Leak, very heavy strikes. Again, classic New Japan AJ. Oh, I like me some New Japan AJ styles. Then a little delayed vertical suplex. AJ Styles going for that much slower pace. That good pace. A Grand Metal Leak with the head scissors. AJ Styles, for him, he was just a little too quick. And AJ told, AJ, don't forget, he can also fly. But Grand Metal League, he took out the legs of AJ Styles. AJ Styles eats the apron. Uh, Grand Metal League goes to the top rope, not once, but twice. Whoa, man. Two times. It's that flying crossbody, Grand Metal League. That tilt the world DDT, the missile dropkick, but eh, eh. It all goes awry when... AJ Styles hits that calf crusher, and I'll tell you what, I think they piped in some music. That seemed a little too loud. Yeah, too loud, man, for all those pe for those few people there who are wearing masks. Yeah, I don't need to wear no mask, man. So AJ Styles win. Solid cheeseburger match. And afterwards, AJ Styles completes his heel turn. Yes, AJ Styles. Because he styles clashed. Lindsay Dorado. There's no more Lucha House, house Party, man. That shiny ring is nice. Yeah. Um, backstage, we have Shorty G and Baron Corbin. That money is looking good, man. Money doesn't hurt. And then we have Sheamus and Jeff Hardy recap. We've all seen that. Jeff Hardy comes out. Cuts a little promo. Baron Corbin shows up. And this starts off our next match with Baron Corbin and Drew Gulak. For the most part, a classic wrestling match. Um, very s simple. There was a single leg takedown. I like that. Or at least an attempt for a single leg takedown. And collegiate wrestling is always good. Whenever they get back to the roots. Oh, so shiny. I might have to keep this. Whenever they get to the roots of pro wrestling, that's always good. Let's see if I sound better up here. I don't know about all this techno mumbo jumbo. I'm used to speaking in front of some masses. <laughs> There we go. That should make me sound a little bit better. Maybe. If I if me sounding better is a thing. Um Baron Corbin then again. 
strike heavy, whereas Drew is very mat based wrestling. Uh, Drew eventually hit on the little bell lock. Again, Drew, Drew is so good at, at the wrestling techniques. Then Matt Riddle showed up. Why would Matt Riddle show up, man? Maybe it's that bounty he has on his head. Yeah, that'll get me a bit nervous. So I'm put a $5 bounty on my head. I don't want to go get that sucker. That's okay. Um, been distracted. Baron Corbin actually wins. Solid cheeseburger match. Then Shory G comes out. It's a wheelbarrow German DDT onto Matt Riddell. Oh, he's going to cash in and get some extra pay. Yeah, we all like that. Then we have Big E taking on The Miz. Starts off really as a classic wrestling match. Uh, standing. F Whenever they do classic wrestling moves, old school takedowns. A standing fireman's carry. So good. Uh, the rope running into the abdominal stretch, and Biggie spanks the Miz like Maurice spanks the Miz. I don't know if that's a thing, but it should be. Uh, Miz gets into the post. Johnny Mundo gets involved. Oh, Johnny Morrison. Johnny Mundo. You're always Johnny Mundo to me, brother, man. Uh, he gets involved. Uh, Miz hits his yes kicks. The Miz has a double deck, double X handle. Classic old school wrestling moves, man. Um, Miz goes the sleeper. There is no big skull crushing finale. No, no big finish. No skull crushing finale. They tease out a little bit. There were the yes kicks, the knees. Uh, Big E doesn't hit his spear. Instead, he eats the boot. I'll tell you what, man, the Miz did the blade job. He did the blade job on the wrong part. Man, you're supposed to blade like right here, not here. You can blade here, like the nature boy, Ric Flair, and smear it all over your face. Yeah, don't blade here like New Jack and, and Abdullah the Butcher. That's no good. You're not supposed to blade here, though. Oh. Uh, there was no big boot. Uh, Miz tried the figure four, but eventually Big E won with his own submission. Good job for Big E. This was actually, I was actually shocked in this match. I'll be honest. This was a very good surf and surf match. And then we decide to get a little crazy. And that's why I'm here because this show went from good to broken, baby. Uh, Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura. Having a party, but Lucha party. No, no, no. Gotta be champs before you drink a little bit of a bubble, baby. Bubble. Then we go into Lacey Evans and Naomi. Oh, Naomi looks so hot. What is Lacey Evans? To a degree. Not as hot as Naomi, though. Naomi has booty. Lacey Evans just has a big butt. Uh, classic match starts off collar and elbow tie up. They go into the corner. Lacey Evans with a power bomb. Wow, I thought this was going to be a quick match. Um, it was the the gator roll into the stretch against the post with the hair and the foot. Again, going after that hair. Wait a second. Another guy I know goes after the hair of people. His name's Yano. Lacey Evans, did you do an audience steal from Yano? That ain't cool, man. That ain't cool. Let's uh, see And uh, she tried to, she did another Yano, tried to trap Naomi's hair onto the ring steps. It's twice. It's two party fouls, man. Can't be doing that. And Naomi then did some weird botch thing, like some sunset flip botch. This was not a good match. 
first of all, you had you were copying Yano. And you were copying Yano very poorly. Yeah, not good. Oh, not as good as that is, man. But not good. Not cool. If you're going to do it, at least do it as good as he does it. Then you did some, some botchy move. Some botchy sunset flip thing to the outside. And you win by a backslide? Like, don't they teach you that in, like, Wrestling 101, don't lose by backslide? Ladies, I hate to say it, this was not a good match. Lacey Evans is showing her greenness again. Actually, that one terrible match was so, oh, God. I, I can't ever unsee that match. Oh. This was a can of soup, though. Then we had Mandy and Otis. Oh, they're going backstage. They're making some barbecue. But if you go out to Texas barbecue or any barbecue, you got to have that brisket, man. Oh, that brisket. So good. You don't need anything else. But that pulled pork. You don't need ribs. You, I don't know if... If Manny was going to become a peach cobbler, though, oh, yeah, I'd be down for that. And then Sylvia Neville starts, like, to pretty shame Mandy and, like, smears lipstick on her face and cuts her hair. Is this, is this what mean lesbians do to each other? I do feel kind of sad. I learned today that Tegan Knox, Nixon Newell, Came out and said she likes girls. One last, one less lady for me. And then we have Nikki Cross, and then in the main event, and there was Kayla. Kayla's back. Whoa! I thought she had coronavirus or something. It was sent to like Northern Idaho. That's where they all should go. Then we have Nikki Cross taking on Bailey in the main event. Oh, Nikki. N Nikki starts to strip for us. Oh, Nikki, you're so pretty. You don't understand the way you make broken Tom feel when you take off that vest, Nikki. You don't understand. Um, it was a very strike-heavy match to begin with, training of forearms. Nikki did do a monkey flip on with Bailey. And this time, oh, even though this is such a pretty ring. The legit boss ring did not get involved. Nikki threw that out. Um, Nikki then takes out the boss. Uh, Alexa Bliss also aprons the boss. Um, Bailey gets, gets eats table too, which is good because a Romulan villain like Bailey should always lose to the table. Wow, this is going to be a quick video. Maybe I should do this more often. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Nikki does a cross body. Gets gets rolled up, gets rolled through, and then rolls back for the pin. Then Bailey does the rose planter. It's okay. It works for Bailey. Bailey picks up the win. I'll tell you what though. Overall, it was a good cheeseburger match. But there and there was no kiss and make up between Nikki and Alexa. Nikki just shoved Alexa and left and left her to the fiend. Yes. And we all know what happens when the fiend gets his hands on any man, child, or in this case, a woman. She got Alexa was there terrified. And got mandible clawed by the fiend. Oh, I was shocked. This is the best ending. A best non match ending for a SmackDown in a while. This is good stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it for the week. Oh, by the time I think is out hoboing, I'm going to enjoy some of his finer things.
Yeah. And relax.